Where's my hundred euros? No, what? My hundred euros. I want it back. Bloody doves. He was talking about the birds. Excuse me. Birds. What birds? The white birds on the island. They weren't even doves. They were bloody seagulls. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? I want my money back. Give me my bloody money oh, back. Oh, go away, Jermaine. Do you mind? I'm trying to... Hey! Get your hands up. Hey! Hey! My What have you put in that? Tot of brandy. Steady your nerves. There's nothing wrong with my nerves. I just haven't slept. Well, don't you worry. The claim has been put in. What claim? Claim for all the stuff we had nicked. We didn't have anything nicked. You've had a blackout, haven't you? A lot of victims of crime have that. It's all part of being in shock. When you see the list I've made out of all the things we had stolen, it'll all come flooding back to you. What list? How have you made a list when we've had nothing taken? People can't pinch what we haven't shut got. Up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Are you McGarvey? I am he. I have your insurance claim for me. Oh, yeah? Is there uh, a problem? No, no problem at all. I just thought I'd let you know that we're entering it for the 2009 Booker Prize for Fiction. What are you talking about? I'm a victim of crime. Please state items you wish to claim for. Two cameras. Two watches, one gold, one silver, three iPods, two mobile phones, and a laptop computer. Oh, my God. Did you forget to put down a speedboat, your set of darts and your bendy bullies? Look, you might go on holiday with a spare pair of knickers and a packet of Johnny's, but some of us do have actual possessions to take with us. Give us it here. What are you doing? Thank you. What did you do that for? If your brains were dynamite, you couldn't blow your hat off. Oh, you poor thing. I hope you gave him a thump back. Well, it all happened so quickly. I didn't really have time to think. And is that when they tied you to the hot water pipe? Yeah. That's how they found that Terry Wogan, wasn't it? Kidnapped and chained to a radiator for five years. Terry, wait. Is that what they said to him? Sarcastic buggers. It's not like it was going to go anywhere. I can't believe one of them was that girl who was with Martin. You don't think he had anything to do with it, do you? No. Did you not see him last night? She cleaned him out, apparently. Took his money, passport, the lot. But she had an accomplice. The one who roughed you up, wasn't it? Did you give the police a good description of him? Yeah, bloke in his 50s, lived in face, long, shaggy, sort of 70s hair, a Hawaiian shirt. How bizarre. That sounds just like the chap who took our mobile phones to fix them. Oh, yeah, we should keep an eye out for him today. Oh, dear. I suddenly feel very stupid. Suddenly? I can't believe you can't just loan me some money so I can at least get to Alicante and get another passport issued. I've had everything taken. We haven't got any money to lend you. You should think yourself lucky you're not getting lynched. It was your girlfriend that robbed everyone. She wasn't my girlfriend, she was just a friend. Some bloody friend. You all right, Madge? Do I look all right? Can I have a question on sport instead? Uh, Mum, can I have a drink? We haven't got any, darling. We'll be setting off soon. Oh, it's too hot in here. Why don't they get the air conditioning going? Because they have to have the engines running for that. Why don't they start the engine, then? <sighs> have you any idea what toxic carbon emissions are doing to this world? Don't talk to me about toxic emissions. I was sat next to that child of yours on the plane. I was nearly sick. What do you mean by that? What do you think I mean? It's bad enough with your father sat there farting like a lodging house cat without Julio dropping one every 20 minutes. The air was so thick I could hardly see me hand in front of my face. His name's Coolio. After this lot, that must be it. We've been here ages. 
Oh, fancy bumping into you here. Hiya. You all right? We all ready for our fabulous free holiday? Oh, Christ, that's all we need, the bloody village people. Go on, keep moving down. You can hardly breathe in here as it is. See you later, love. Schnell, schnell, my fear has spoken. <laughs> oh, dear. Look who it is. I didn't think they'd be back. Free holiday, ain't it? Can't say no to that, however posh you are. Oh, hello. All back again. Hopefully not such an eventful holiday this year. <laughs> I, uh, you weren't on our flight from Manchester, were you? Um, no, Gatwick, but we had a few problems with our luggage. That miserable wife of yours not still giving you the runaround, is she? Uh, not exactly. The last thing I need is to be looking at a sour gob round the pool while I'm trying to enjoy me holiday. <laughs> I know. And I'm saying them bags are Gucci, and if they go missing again, I'll kick your b so hard you'll be able to taste them. Do you mind with the language that a kiddie's present? Chill out, Grandma. It's supposed to be an holiday. Come on, Martin, the back seat's free. And before you ask, that's not an invitation for a quickie before we get there. <laughs> She's... Joking. She's got a point about the windows. Hey. What are you doing? I'm not doing out. You cannot reserve some beds with towers in the morning. What are you talking about? You have been here before. You know the rules. Oh, come on, don't be tight. You know how old my mum is. She needs a sunbed. I don't care if she's 100 years old. These are the rules, and if you don't like them, you can stay somewhere else. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I don't like you now. No. What I mean is, you really wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I really don't like you now. No, you don't understand. For the last year, I've been training under a ninja master. My mind and body have been finely tuned. Finely chewed by what? No, not finely chewed. Finely tuned. And I think it's only fair to warn you. A bloke picked an argument with me at the airport. And I nearly killed him. What did you do? Breathe on him? Morning, Jeff. Ah! Everything okay? It's this one. That old job's worth. And what seems to be the problem? You cannot reserve a sunbed with your towel. It's against the rules. Yes, he's quite right. We've been coming here for 20 years, and the rules categorically state you cannot reserve a sunbed with your towel. Thank you. Would you like to borrow our towels, Jeff? You're all right, I've got a towel. I... All right, yeah. Cheers. Son, I want you to know I know how difficult it's been for you. And I want you to know I'm so proud of you. I just want you to be happy. And if that means you being with a man and getting one of them civilised partnerships, well, then, I'll stick by you. I just need to know one thing before I put my foot in it tonight. Are you ready to come out, son? I say, son, are you ready to come out? Yes, I'm ready! Good save, woman. You're all right. I'm so proud of you. It's going to be a wonderful night. Good evening, ladies and James. Good evening. I said, Good evening, ladies and James. Good evening. That's better. Well, some of you may already know we have a fabulous singer here at Neptune's tonight, Benidorm's favourite, Sean Foster Connolly. But before that, we have an old friend of Neptune's who would like to say a few words. Let's give it up for Nordin! 
What's going on? Thank you, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been many times in my life when I've been proud of my only son, Jeff Maltby. She's me PA. His many achievements in life have been impressive and varied. From Lancashire indoor hang gliding champion to the only double winner of the Orm Skirt Meat Plate Fighting Competition without the need of hospitalisation. <laughs> but these brave accomplishments pale into insignificance when I tell you that tonight's the night is finally decided to stand tall and announce that he is a wonderful, happy, Proud gay man. You won't. Well done, son. And this one is for you. Someone here. Name? The Oracle. I mean, Jeff. I mean, I mean, Lysley. Is this a group booking? Lysley. It, it'll be under the name. Lysley. Two people. This way, please, sir. A drink while you wait, sir? I like it, please. But of course, sir. Come on, Jeff. Don't mess this one up. You never know she could be the one. Hello. You must be Jeff. Leslie. Yeah, I'm sorry about earlier on, but uh, I had a flat tyre. I do my own servicing and uh, I'd forgotten to grease my wheel nuts. <laughs> so I've been on my hands and knees all afternoon. <laughs> nice here, mate, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, when I first came to bed at home, I thought it was all English breakfast and karaoke, but you'd be surprised. 
I haven't been. Now then, uh, before we go any further, something I want to tell you, Jeff. Okay. We chatted online a lot yesterday, and well, there was one thing I wasn't completely truthful about. Really? Yeah. I want to get it out of the way now. I mean, we don't want an elephant in the room, so to speak. No. I want my map. No. But I've got a sneaking suspicion you know what I'm going to say. Right across my mind. Jeff. I'm not 35. Really? No. I wasn't 100% honest with you on that score. Right. I mean, I've been nervous about telling you that, but, well, you, you haven't done a runner yet. I can't move. Well, I must say, that's a weight off my shoulders. Mind you, and say not, I may be in my 40s, but I'm not dead yet. As my old grandma said as I were trying to zip up the body bag. <laughs> uh, do you know, I don't know what it is, but I feel very relaxed with you, Jeff. Some men give me the creeps, you know what I mean? Absolutely. But with you, well, I just feel I can let my hair down. Uh, you any good at massage? No. Oh, I did a course just a couple of years back. Uh, are you familiar with shiatsu? I mean, I've just done that. Well, it's a finger pressure massage technique that releases toxins from the body. I know that sounds a bit technical, but uh, at the end of the day, all it involves is one person lying face down on the bed while the other one gives him a good book. You think you'll be up for that? Sir. Mademoiselle. Champion. Now, I usually have two starters here, because I only smoke. How's it going? Yeah, can't complain. Bottle of beer, please. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Late night last night. No. Really early one, actually. Really early. Jeff had a big date last night. I didn't have a date. Last night in the old town. Mm. Lovely romantic dinner he was having. It wasn't a romantic dinner. It was... It was a business meeting. I must say, we didn't really have you down as the broad-minded type. Is she pre-op or actually in transition? Oh, God. Bless him, he's got all shy. I don't know. <laughs> Young love makes them all giddy, doesn't it? Right, <laughs> sunbeds. You've not said much about your date last night. I told you it was all right. I was speaking to that Scottish fella and his wife in the lifts this morning. Said they'd bumped into you and your lady friend. Why? Yes. Said you made a very nice couple. Did they? Said something about her being a bit older than you. And possibly... Now, I think the word was pre-operative, but I don't know what that means. Look, I met someone on the internet. We met up, and she turned out to be a fella in a dress. All right. You happy now? Oh, son, you know you can tell me anything. And I didn't tell you, because it was a misunderstanding. All right? Is that him? Yeah, that's him. He's in property, so we'll tying up a few deals and he's off tomorrow. Marcus Snelling, business intelligence consultant. What does that mean? It means he's got his fingers in a lot of pies. Never show all your cards at once. Oh, I'm supposed to be relaxing today, but it's hard to switch off. You like me, workaholic. You all right? Oh, yeah. My business associate, Mick Garvey. Nice to meet you, Mick. Marcus Snelling. Yeah, I've heard all about you. Oh, yeah, you've been talking about me, Mel. Well, I just mentioned you were in property. Yeah, it's a real shame it's not your thing. I've just heard of another property available to me, but I've only bought the cash to secure the one I knew about. Shame. But only take 5,000 euros. How'd you work them figures out? This estate agent friend. No, you're not interested. No, we're not interested. Well, hang on here. You may as well tell us. 
I've heard enough. Sorry about him. He's very naive when it comes to business. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I feel like turning five grand into one hundred. You've got my card. Tree fly. How's it going? Everything sorted. I've been working on the mark. They'll give me anything I want. I'd be well. <laughs> mm. I telephoned this place thinking you might have been idiotic enough to come back here, but of course the staff are about as useful as a chocolate teapot. You came all this way to help me. I've had absolutely no sleep. How have you been? Martin. We need to get you a passport. My God, I don't know how you dare show your face around here. I beg your pardon? You know what he means. After your mucky bit of skull's roof robbed us all blind, I wouldn't be surprised if you're part of the scam. I'm as much a victim of all this as you are, probably more so. I've got you sussed. You hang around here for another day to make it look as if you had naught to do with it. But come tomorrow, you'll be on a yacht in the middle of the med, divvying up the spoils. <laughs> I hardly think there'll be much to divvy up stealing from these people. You keep your nose out. And another thing you... Well, 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 look who it is. I beg your pardon? Come on, Kate, let's go. It gets rid of wood, old slapper, and you come crawling back while the sheets are still warm. Oh, forget it, Madge. Let's go get Wait a somewhere. minute. Now listen to me, old woman. Apart from the fact that I fail to see what any of this has to do with you, you obviously still think you can motorize yourself around this fly-blown cesspit, spitting venom like some kind of vicious fire-damaged paraplegic. Well, let me assure you, if you come anywhere near me for the duration of my mercifully short trip here, so help me God, I will drag you off that council go-kart, rip off your head, and p*** in your pipes. Do I make myself clear? I'll take that as a yes. Martin? This is very authentic. Yes, isn't it wonderful? It really is. Here's to us. I mean, to all of us. Martin, I'm sorry. I don't think I could stay. Kate, what's wrong? I'm sorry. I, I just can't do this. Love. I'm not playing happy families with a husband I've been separated from for eight months, whilst trying to converse with a mother-in-law who never listens to a word anyone says. Ah, oh, flamenco! Enthusiastic. Have you found some trunks then? Oh no, these are my pants. Uh, I'm afraid I'll have to go commando on the journey back. Where's that? No, go commando. It means to, to not wear any underwear. Oh, right. Why don't you go commando now? What, here? No, no, I, I don't think that's appropriate. Come on. I promise I won't look under the water. It'll really turn me on. No, I think what with the kiddies in the pool and... Beg your pardon? Come on, Martin. 
We came here as friends, but there's no denying there's a spark between us. There is? I mean, I mean, there is. I mean, I, I, I thought there, there might be. Martin. Yes? Get down in the water and slowly pull down your pants. People are looking. Yeah, they're not. Now give them to me. And swim under the waterfall. I'll put these out to dry and I'll meet you back there in two minutes. Brandy, I I two minutes. Talking to you earlier, did you see where she went? Yeah, she got out. Right. Did she say where she was going? No, but she took your clothes. Oh God. <laughs> Brandy, where are you? Hiya. Look what I got. A bottle of that liqueur and some marmalade made out of the same stuff. What have you bought that for? What have you got marmalade for? You know I'm not eating sweet stuff. You're not gonna get any fatter from a bit of marmalade. What do you mean, fatter? I don't mean fatter, I mean... What? Fatter than I already am? <laughs> You're not fat! Everybody puts a bit of weight on on holiday. <gasps> you are? What have I said now? What have you said? You're nothing but an animal. Why I ever let an insensitive pig like you marry my daughter, I'll never know. I never asked to marry her. I beg your pardon? No. <laughs> I don't mean I didn't want to marry her. I mean... I... Come here, Mum. Don't upset yourself. What are you getting upset for? First you call your wife fatty, then you say you wish you'd never married her and you're asking why she's upset. Who said fatty? You're twisting me words. Janice, love, come here. Come here, Mum. I'm all right. Janice! Just hey. go away. What are you... Oh, my God, you're not crying. No, I'm not crying. I just want you to go away. Janice! Janice! Oh, for Christ's sake. Thanks. It's OK. I'm all right. I'm all right. I don't know why I let him get to me. Huh? Hey, where's our Michael? Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I just had to borrow your son for a bit. Hola. Smoke? No. Oh. Gracias, senor. Excuse me, senor. I was wondering if I could pick your brains. Brains? Do you know who the island belongs to? Si. Who? Si, is island. No, I need to know who the island belongs to. Uh, lentamente, por favor, señor. Uh, slowly. Me? Build shops, more restaurants, maybe hotel here. Build? Uh, aquí? Here? Yes, here. Is no posible. But why is no posible? Who does the island belong to? The island... It belonged to the Doves. The Doves? See. Si. Who is the Doves? You want um, permiso, uh, per permission to build? Yes. It's no possible. 
Yes, I understand, but who is the Doves, the boss, the owner? Peacock Island belong to the Doves. Right, I see. It's not what you know, it's who you know. See? Oh, uh, could I have one of my cigarettes? Uh, lo siento, señor. Uh, no hablo inglés fluidamente, pero es suficiente para el trabajo, ¿no? Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Just until tomorrow, I'm at space on Earth. I know what I feel good Harry. is decided by birth. So what's the future? I know that I must go there and there's So, you're the man they call the Doves. No. You are? My name is Antonio Doves. What can I do for you? Right. But you have a lot of interest in property, land and the like? I come on the Sisto Hotel to the Solana. I have a number of villas in and around Benidorm and some land in Calle Finistrata. I was told you are a businessman, Senor Javi. I do not wish to be one, but I'm a very busy man. Peacock Island. What about it? I've been there today. What do you want, a round of applause? No, I mean, I want to build on Peacock Island. You can't. That's right, because you own it. No. You are? No, I do not own Peacock Island. But I was told you did. Well, then, you were misinformed. Hang on a minute, let me get this right. Your name is Dovez, and you don't own Peacock Island. Correct. So who does own it? Nobody owns it. It is a nature reserve. A man on the island told me it was owned by the Doves. I can assure you, Senor Harvey, he was not referring to me. That just doesn't make sense. For heaven's sake, Peacock Island is protected. You cannot build there because it will disturb the wildlife. The wildlife? Yes, mainly the birds. Mainly the birds. The white birds. Doves. Doves. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I've heard enough. That's a man alive. So what's the future? Where's my hundred euros? What? My hundred euros. I want it back. Bloody doves. He was talking about the birds. Excuse me. Birds. What birds? The white birds on the island, they weren't even doves, they were bloody seagulls. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? I want my money back. Give me my bloody money oh, back. Oh, go away, you make skin. Do you mind, I'm trying to... Hey, get your hands up. Hey, hey, my money... Run! Oh! Run! Oh! Run! Oh! 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 Oh!